Welcome back to another video guys. In this one, we'll just be doing a quick unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy Smart Tag 2. I've used the Smart Tag 1 previously as we've got here. This isn't the plus one, it's just the very first one, which I've been using ever since. Still all right, change the battery, and it works fine. With this one, this is apparently slimmer, better battery life, and has the ultra wide band support which this one doesn't have, this was the very first one. Also, when I ordered it, I got the silicone case of it free. I'm not sure if it have to, has to come with it or you got to buy it separately, but they put it in free. Oh, as you can see, it's much smaller. Compared to the pictures, it looks quite big compared to this one. But obviously when you open it up, that's the actual size. So this is your SIM injection tool, but I'm guessing that's for the battery. Oh, so push it from the top. Ah, so you push it through the top. So if you can see it's on camera. Let's try and get it to focus. You see the hole in here. That's where you put this tool. And obviously that's when you're changing the battery, it'll push out. That's a much easier design than this one, where you have to separate it. You've got your gap there, and you separate it, and basically that's how you get the battery out on this one. Right, with the smart tag, you basically put on anything, keys, luggage, pets. You can possibly even leave it in your car or your bike, and basically track it. Use it many times with the first one. Where if you lose your keys, you go into your Samsung app or your SmartThings app. I'll show you. With the, our S23 Ultra here, we've got the SmartThings. And in here, basically anything that's connected to my account, you'll find it on here. So, with this one, I haven't connected to this yet, but with this one, if we press here, it says updated recently, go into it, you can make it ring or make the actual phone ring, but we'll make the smart tag ring. So if this was connected to my keys, this will happen. We'll connect this new smart tag on this phone. Remove this tag, obviously protecting the battery. And straight away, you see the device has been found. Add this device to SmartThings. You can add it later in SmartThings. We'll add it now. Agree. Just keep the phone close. Press the button in the center of the smart tag. Do this here. So almost there, we'll finish setting up your smart tag in the background. Oh, there you go. So now ready to use. We'll change all that later. Start using. Straight away should open your smart tag and it's here. You view it in the map where it is. Obviously, I know where it is. There's an update. Uh, let's update it. Not sure how long it'll take. Right, it's updating right now. And once it's done, I'll come back to you guys. Right, now it's updated. So it's connecting. And that's connected. Do change the volume. To high or low, leave it on high. Change the ringtone. Right, 
stop that. Is that power saver mode and your battery life, which is pretty good. Obviously, because we just unboxed it. Let's take a look at the silicone case that I got with it. Oh, another thing. Obviously, you can put your keys around here. It's much more solid. Here's plastic. Haven't had any problems with it, but obviously, being plastic, it can break. I've had this for a few years and it obviously it hasn't done so but maybe it has that's why they've refined it with this metal ring but let's see what the case looks like so basically you put your key around here let's push it down and I'm guessing the slides in well obviously take it off first let's go around this way that will help so you take this off and that opens you slide that in in its case and then just slide it back onto the key ring part which is good but eventually this rubber is going to give and you might end up losing it but for now i'll definitely keep it in the case anyway guys that's just a quick video on the galaxy smart tag 2 just a quick unboxing a uh, quick walkthrough basically much more slimmer i say better design than the smart tag one but i'll still use this i'll keep it on see my other set of keys or when you're going abroad keep it in the luggage and um yeah it's pretty good as you can see, just use it to locate things that you might lose and keep track of things. Anyway guys, if you've got any questions, leave them down in the comments. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.